Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick little video here. I'm working on this uh, 2001 uh, YZF250R, or F, I'm sorry, and uh, 2003 camshaft in it. But what I'm working on, I set the valves, and I'm just really not finding anything wrong. And uh, common to have these hard starting complaints or whatnot, so I'm checking everything out. So getting into the carburetor here, and I cannot stress enough, this is one of the most overlooked places in a carburetor. Probably my most popular uh saying that I say in these videos but underneath your needle valve assembly where this guy goes people always take this out and then they quit and that's the problem okay you have to take out the needle valve assembly and let's see if you can see this so this float needle assembly is the type that has a, a pre-filter under it and a lot of people don't realize that this is under there so they clean on top and they clean going to it they replace fuel filters and there, you have to service this. It has to be removed and cleaned thoroughly or you're going to have fuel restriction. Another thing that I don't know if we'll be able to see on here. Oh, there you go. See that? I'll try and hold this. See that O-ring? How loose that is? It won't work. It won't work. Absolutely at all. So what's happening here is your float needle, which is this guy right there, and then the float itself, when it says, okay, I'm going to shut the fuel off, nope, what happens is fuel is going to leak right around that O-ring, out in, and you have raw fuel in here, and you have a flooding, over-filling uh, carburetor. Quick note here, because i got some pretty smart people that watch these videos. See that hole right there? Well, that does allow fuel to go around where when it's in its position, it almost looks like a star pattern and there's a relief. And fuel will go around there to fill the float bowl faster once that float needle comes off the seat. But make no mistake about it, what I'm talking about is that O-ring seal against the body. If fuel leaks past the O-ring, it's, it's raw, unmetered fuel that we do not wish to have. The fact that the O-ring's not tore, what can happen is that the flooding, if you will, is going to be minimal while you're riding the bike. It's just going to make it run richer than it's supposed to. So... I'll have to go back and check the spark plug again and see what I had there and see if there's any clues of that this was just a rich running bike. But without a doubt, float needle assembly need to be pulled out, look for those filters, clean thoroughly all the way through the track, and make sure you're not restricting any fuel flow that you're wanting to get in there. So here's my tip of the night. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and... Uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.